What's up guys, Jamie here, and yes, I got my braces off. Check out my last video after you watch this one. It's of vacation to Las Vegas, but I'm kind of mad because I just filmed a SummerSlam review and I can't find it in iMovie, so cool, computer. Anyways, so... I enjoyed the pay-per-view overall. I thought it was a good pay-per-view. There's some matches I didn't care about. There's some matches that I really, really liked. I really, really enjoyed Roman Reigns and Dean versus Bray Wyatt and Lou Carper. I enjoyed the Cena match, actually. I love that Seth won. And, of course, Taker versus Lesnar. But getting down to it, I'm not going to go in any order. This is going to be a quick review. And I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm just really going to give my opinion. I just really want to talk about some stuff that happened in in the pay-per-view. So first of all, let's just go to the Divas. I'm sorry. I mean, you know, I wanted the Divas to get more attention in the Divas revolution or whatever. It's all right. I still just, I can't get into the Divas. I don't know why. I, I like Paige. I like Sasha. You know, I like the whole bad uh, heel persona. I just like heal everything. But I don't have an interest in any divas, really. Although Naomi makes me really crack up because she's always doing something. And also, I love Natalia. She wasn't in the match. But she was a special guest referee when I went to Raw, or the WWE Super Show, on Friday. And she was a referee. She is my favorite diva. But I did enjoy seeing Paige and Paige, so. Anyways, getting on to the tag match was, you know, like David Otonga and um, Darren Young and New Day. New Day cracks me up. I absolutely love them in terms of them being really funny. I love Darren Young. But, I mean, for a tag match, it was actually pretty good. I liked all the flips and you know, everywhere, um, although I didn't care about the other two tags. So the next match, I'm not going in any order, Kevin Owens versus Cesaro. I absolutely love those two, especially Cesaro. I think they're very, very talented wrestlers. I think they both did good in the match, and I honestly didn't care who would have won. Kevin Owens won, which some people said he needed to go over, and then, you know, Cesaro is still over anyway. Also, John Cena versus Seth Rollins. Now, I actually this was actually a really good match though. The 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 counters, the the false, you know, the false kicks, um, kick outs. I I can't, I can't talk. But then, of course, with the match, I was actually couldn't see either one winning, like having two titles. Although I thought I was leaning a bit towards Cena because he's Cena. But I thought either the not, it's not going to be a clean victory for whoever wins or somebody's going to interfere and they're going to keep both, they're both going to keep their titles. But Seth won and that's great. I just wish sometimes a match with Cena would go over clean, but it's still a good match overall. Please excuse me if I miss any matches. Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper. I absolutely love all four of them. I think they're such talented wrestlers. I absolutely love Dean and Roman. I think all their moves were fantastic. I just thought the back and forth was good. And, you know, the flying and the kicking. I also, on a side, random side note, I love Bray Wyatt's entrance. It's fantastic, and you should see how close I was to those four, especially Roman Reigns during the match. And as a fangirl, too, Dean taking off his shirt was perfect. Randy Orton versus Sheamus, we've seen this match about 100 times, although I thought it was pretty decent. I love Randy Orton. I love everything that he did, so I might be just a bit biased. And actually, I thought Randy was going to win, not Sheamus, but I guess that might have been, I don't know, predictable. And when is Shame is going to cash it in? Although, I really don't want him to win anything, to be quite honest. It might seem like I'm rushing, but my mom's sleeping in the other room. I don't know when my family's going to come upstairs. And lighting sucks. Sorry about that. 
I need to get better lighting systems. The one match I did not care about besides the Divas was Big Cho, Ryback, and The Miz. I mean, I like The Miz is okay. I really don't like Big Cho, Healer Face. I never liked Ryback. So, I just thought this match was boring. I cannot stand Big Show. For the longest time, I've never liked Big Show. I don't mean his, like, personality in real life, because I don't know him. But, I just, I never liked him. I remember, this is getting completely sidetracked, but I remember in 08, when he, he was feuding with The Undertaker with Vicky, I don't know why I got so mad. I was, like, furious. But he beat up Taker, he held him, and then Vicky spit in his face. And Taker says, I wanted to kill him. My brother was like, Come, relax, it's just a storyline. It's like, I can't help it. I just wanted to kill both of them. And the other match was uh, Stefan, I think his name is. The, the movie actor, who is very cute, by the way. And he was actually very entertaining and actually very good, in my opinion. Versus, what's his name? What Neville and Cody and Wade Bear. I like Wade Bear. I think he's funny when he speaks. Um, I like his. I like when he talks. Cody, I, I still call him Cody Stardust, but I don't know. He's really fun live, and I like him as a wrestler. I think he's just always fun in the ring. And Lana, I always say Lana Del Rey. That's a singer. That's not uh, Lana. I love Lana. She's so pretty. I absolutely also adored her when she was a heel. I never cared for Rusev. Um, I love Dolph Ziggler. But again, it, you know, it was an okay match. Ziggler is talented. Could care less for Rusev as I stand to the match. I really, really, really want to talk about is Taker versus Lesnar. Match was great. I'm happy that Undertaker won. But the ending was just confusing and what the heck but I guess that is to set up for Wrestlemania 32 so every time Undertaker did anything it gave me an absolute heart attack one I didn't want him to get hurt and two I thought that Undertaker what I know for some reason I always thought that he was going to lose every time they would go one two three I like the false finishes I absolutely thought it was hysterical when Lesnar flipped Taker off. I absolutely loved Undertaker's hysterical, um, sarcastic laugh. I'll put it right here. I, I love, I love Taker, believe me, but I loved Lesnar in this match too. He was, he was funny. And so was Taker. Taker was so perfect. I really, really liked how it was back and forth. Like, Lesnar would get the upper hand and then Taker would get the upper hand, and then, you know, suplex, tombstone, hell's gate, you know, submission moves. I loved when, uh, it was really cool when Taker went through the, through the announcer's table, and Lesnar was bleeding. Taker had welts, and he was scratched up, but not as bad as Lesnar. Lesnar was so disgustingly sweaty, and I was getting nervous that Undertaker was getting hurt. You know, because last time he fought with Lesnar, he got pretty hurt, and he had a concussion. So, when the, the ending, though, was very confusing, and I just did not really know what to think, because I'm happy he won. But Undertaker tapping out, it makes me, like, in denial, like, nope, nope, nope. But that's an interesting way to go. I mean, hopefully we see them on Raw tomorrow. I'm not too sure about Taker, but probably Heyman. Hopefully. Take her, but I wouldn't count on it. Oh, and I also loved how when Stefan, or, or I think it was John though, was with Neville and the four of them, I think it was four, and there was his son was saying that, and Undertaker just casually walks by. I didn't know what people were talking about at first, but when I saw it, freaking hysterical and perfect. Me, I would have died if he walked by, but I'll show it here. But comment down below on what you thought of SummerSlam, and thumbs up. Thank you.